Uh, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are getting into that time of year right now. It is end of August, getting into September, and I know a lot of people don't like to fish in September, and then we got October. So we're getting into that fall transition. But I'm telling you guys, this can be a great time of year to fish, especially if you know exactly what you're looking for and how to go about attacking those fish. I'm going to do a quick breakdown here of Kerr Reservoir, or also known as Bugs Island, here in Virginia, and. I fished a tournament here last year, uh, the TBF Semi-National Championship for Virginia. I was able to take first place in that event, and it was about September 25th was around the time of that tournament. And so I came out to practice, an official practice, you know, a couple days before the event started. And I know, as we most of us know, in the fall, we are trying to find those bait fish. And those bait fish, they're going to start pulling back into these bays, into these areas, and start moving shallow making their way back into these creeks and getting all eventually we'll get all the way in the back into areas like this where it's just a little fresh water rolling in here a foot deep those bait fish you could pull in here i pulled into a spot like this on lake norman and it was just clouds of bait and i was able to sit out here and target these bass that were sitting out here at the end of this creek just trying to keep these bait fish from escaping and they would occasionally would come up feeding and on a few and you can sit here and catch them all day so that just shows you how how shallow these these bait fish will get so let's talk about a couple ways to target some of these fish and where i usually first like to start off on any type of shoal or any big flat like let's see if i can find a flat um i think there's a flat kind of here in eastland yes so a lot of these bait fish they'll get up they'll be out here on these flats and they'll be trying to work their way back and these fish are going to be sitting out here as well and pushing these bait fish up against the bank in these points so a good way to target those fish is definitely with a top water pulling up on these points and throwing a popper a, a whopper plopper a, a pencil popper and throwing them across the top of these points and not every point is going to have bait on them it's going to take a little bit of time to kind of get dialed in on what you're looking for a lot of times this year this time of year too I, I find myself i want to chase the wind if i got wind blowing on this side of the if i got a if i got a wind coming say uh we'll do coming from east to west blowing into this west side of the bank these points like this are what i'm going to focus on because it's going to be pushing the plankton which those bait fish are moving shallow to feed on and those bass are going to follow so i i like to really chase the wind and i think this time of the year the wind is your friend but good areas to key or something like that i mean points like this i always look for steep little ledges just places where these bass can really push this bait fish up and pin them it's almost like an underwater bluff so they can really push the bait fish up here and find a hard bottom to, to feed on them at and when i get out here on the main lake too another great way to be able to chase chase these bass and locate them is if you can find some structure out here like say this is probably someone marked this this probably has a rock pile on it those bass will sit up on that structure out here off this hump and just wait for bait to come by a lot of times too those bass will sit out here even a little deeper in 30 to 20 foot of water and they'll sit out there suspended waiting for the bait fish to come by and feed so you can sit out here and like I said, you could sit out here in 40 foot of water, cast sw swim baits, spinner baits, Carolina rigs, top waters, and don't be afraid. Like I said, don't be like I said, I'll be sitting in 40 foot of water, casting all the way up into 14, 15, and a lot of times I'll get top water bites out there in 20 over 26 foot of water. So don't be afraid to sit up too too far away. Most people I find sit up too close on the point and they're actually sitting on top of the fish and or they're they're sitting they're still able to catch fish but those bigger fish a lot of times are out there a little deeper so idling these points around these bays especially early on these bait fish are going to move i mean the first area they're going to start pulling up when they start pulling off of these main off out of the main lake they're going to start pulling up in these little pockets right here like say you pull into a little pocket like over here just a little cut like this you got two little pockets two little coves here they're going to start pulling into these areas first working their way around and like i said eventually they're going to get back into areas like this real shallow if you can find a spot like this i found a spot like this like i said on lake norman water flowing in the bait fish got really shallow and again you could sit out here and catch them on top water they'll probably be back in here sitting out here in six foot of water just waiting for this bait fish to try to come back out here 
But again, that is just a quick little breakdown in the fall. It's pretty simple, which I, I is I really enjoy the fact that it's simple. So the fact is, you got the bait fish moving shallow. Those bass are going to start following the bait fish. So there's a lot of ways to go about trying to catch the bass. If you can really locate those bait fish, you know the bass are around and aren't far behind. So again, hope you guys like the video. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.